Welcome in, Paramatrades here. We're gonna take a look at corn. We're gonna look at some price action, some pivots, and obviously, and most notably, commercial interest. I don't usually do corn. I don't usually uh, you know, chart up corn, but we, we've got a case here that I just I can't ignore. Is the consistent, consistent highs, consistent positive outlook for the last five weeks up over 80 percent which is our extreme positive territory for commercial interest and even a three-year index lifting up highest it's been in you know six months maybe the highest it's been well not the highest it's been in over the last year but getting pretty close getting pretty close to it so our six month is you know is our indicator for for corn on our COT report uh, Friday roundup for commercial interests, we, you know, we'd marked off that this was one that we wanted to watch. So we're going to do a video on this to see if we can see what we can see. Now let's just pull over our three here. Yeah, you know, looking, looking at this chart, this this looks good. Lowest it's been in the last year. The last time comps were this bullish on the three year index was was this back in May? Mm. Do we have a do we have a seasonal case for, for, for corn here? We'll have to take a look at the seasonal chart. Hopefully I didn't close the darn thing out. Uh, yeah. It's possible that I did. I did oh well it switched it up here. Corn, corn, corn. Let's look at corn. Do we have a seasonal chart that we could look at for for corn that would have <clears throat> give us some kind of indication that there's a rally going to ensue? Ooh. Boy, this is all over the place, huh? One of the things I like to do with this, just so I can get some, some clarity here. Well, here's our average here, and it, there, there, there is, is there a case for a sell-off in this area, and then a rebound uh, towards the beginning part of the year. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, right, right, about, right about in this area is, is, is usually, it seems, where corn has some troubles. And it runs into some trouble here. Not a strong case for a rally, though. And maybe some seasons, not the best season, I don't think, for a rally in corn. Although some seasons would definitely support that notion that there could be at least a small rally in this time frame or in this area. And so, what do we got? One, you know, one, two, three. We've got a couple of different seasons here. But this looks like a much better case, but I mean, this is not up. This is not till June. Seems like mixed emotions here. Uh, which one was that? The black. I mean, there's just not. Wow. Well, this season was not a good time to be a buyer in that area. So the overall outlook, at least in. Looks like maybe maybe a rally before a sharp decline. You know, it's, it tries to balance out a little bit. There's just between the averages of anything that's lower than the average, and we're really low on this average. Anything that was, you know, much lower than the average seemed to rally before the decline. But right, we there's a strong case for a decline in the June area, and here we are, <clears throat> end of March. Could we get some, a small bit of retrace here? Oh boy. A couple of seasons support it, but not. And there's all this going on on here. And then, whew, nice shoot up, and then we get the decline. How strong around? I mean, these 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 seem to get a head start. 
Seasonal, but it would definitely look to be a seller down here, but there is occasionally that one season that defies it, at least for a little while. And look at all that decline coming in here from season after season after season. And we just got that one, one case going on up in here. You might get a rally, I and mean, this seems like one of the worst years that corn's had <clears throat> in some time. At least around this t this time period. We're going to get a lot of this action in a nice rally before the decline a little later in time. <clears throat> what accounts know that we don't? That's what I'm wondering. Do they know anything that we don't know here? Because they're awful bullish in the six month. The three year index is kind of creeping up. It's not It's not exactly in that territory yet, but if it does get in that territory, it seems like they, the way to align yourself is, is with them. So here's that ETR range that we've been looking at. Uh, it's just a trailing stop ETR range. So uh, this is horribly helpful in, in some of these areas for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe nine trading days. Well, yeah. I'm, uh, I have to put it into perspective here, 383 to 358. Mm. So, not a huge or rapid decline, but it can only help. ATR can only help, and maybe corn needs a different ATR range. I, I really don't know. But there's, I mean, a lot of sideways action going on in this area. Uh, just go, you know, swing high, swing. So, you know, decline. Mm -hmm. Kind of fist fight going on here and more decline, but lowest it's been within the last year. Is this thing getting ready to turn around? So where's our here's our May, right? Here's the here's our here's our end of April. Where some accumulation started happening into the May before we before we took off. So, so we can look can we look at this on a three year level and say indefinitely, you know, May's the time to buy. Uh you know, uh, you know, was made a time to buy back here, you know, end of, end of April. We'll do something different here. You know, was was May a time to buy back here? Well, it seems so. Was May, April, May, you know, a good time to buy? Maybe even a little sooner. So even sooner in March, in January, February, you know, into March. And this area was, was, was pretty good, again, for, for, for corn here. Does it pay to be a buyer? And so here's July, right? Here's July, and here's that um, area that we, we had said wasn't a good time to be a buyer at the end of June because there was a sharp decline. So, you know, same thing here. Was it a good time to be a buyer towards the end of May and June? It didn't look like it. And then in here, May and June, did it look like a good time to be a buyer? No, it wasn't. It had a good time to be a seller in, in both those areas. So are we approaching an area now in March... March and April, where we're going to get some some price movement here. Is this the same thing? You know, April, April, May. Well, I got to tell you, this chart looks pretty good. Corn looks pretty good, especially uh, in terms of commercial interest. I know that the three-year index isn't up over 80 yet, but if it does, and if you're not really paying attention to the six-month, this could be a nice area of accumulation. This we we could get some significant, you know, come up, you know, in in an average range. But that looks really good. It looks really good for corn. So uh, looking forward here. And if we look at some price action, some pivots, or something like that, and and yeah, keep it. Um, <clears throat> let's just. I need. I need. We need the five. We're gonna put the five on here. Ooh, huh? I mean, this this looks strong, strong case for 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 bullish sentiment here, with commercial interest. I like this. Oh, we're reaching W, but you would get a pivot to work with. I mean, and I had a nice double bottom going here. A nice double bottom there. Uh, oof, I mean, there's not much in the way of a higher, um, a higher low here. And we 
I always pay attention to the pivots in question. Now, it don't look like much, but look at how much trading happened around around this price level and around this area. So it, it doesn't look like a heck of a lot, but it worked for us in identifying, you know, higher low here. Got your lower low here. And got your higher low here. And we didn't push further than that. A good nose, they tried. But they didn't quite get it. So is this your, was this the technical test that um, kind of set us in motion here? Was this cluster, come back down, re retest this cluster? You know, this pivot cluster, this nice W pattern working out for us here. And we get, do we get, you know, we get a nice bullish W. A little sloppy, a little sloppy, but it was, you know, it was kind of there here. And then the break and the retest of this cluster. I mean, you got to be a buyer here, right? You've got to be a buyer here. A, a, a break of two. Nice pivot, a break of two. Oh, I've been doing something with my uh, control key, too, you know. Uh, anyways, um, I forgot about that. So here's, the, you know, like a lot of the charts that we've been looking at that look bullish, that we're following, that we're saying, hey, comms are getting really bullish in here. We get a lot of this same look. We're looking for this this swing pivot to, to work for us here. And this was obviously important enough. This higher low was obviously important enough to trade around and to fight over. What can we get now? What can we get now? Is there any way to identify uh, whether we want to, you know, whether this is going to turn or is this going to continue to accumulate? It's, I mean, uh, Well, let's see if it can hang on. Let's see if it can hang on in this area. Let's see if we can hang tough and and it don't look pretty. I mean, it just kind of just barely stair stepping its way up. Maybe the, the the bearishness can get offset here a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of you know really distant uh, trend lines. I just don't. And sometimes, but uh, does it help? Mm. Oh, maybe. Does this look like it's offsetting? Like it's kind of, you know, fanning? Like it's it, 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 it's swiveling here? Like we're getting some some momentum offset? And can we get into a bullish chart? It don't look like much either, right? This stall doesn't look like a heck of a lot, but it was important enough to... So if you're a buyer of corn here, prices look, if this is going to be a bottom, prices look good. <clears throat> prices look really good. Yeah, that's what I can say about corn. I'd like to keep this short, but uh, if you're into the corns, could be um, setting up really nicely. Like we said, looking at this, you know, looking at the chart, um, while comms are bullish on this. Yeah. The lowest it's traded, the lowest value it's traded in, in, in a one year period, and we could argue the case that, you know, this time frame is, is, is good. April. Beginning of April. so much in here right march february march they got head start uh, you know may april may yeah keep it on your watch list uh definitely keep it on your watch list what i would look for in terms of commercial interest i would like to see some diminishing or relatively low open interest before this it comes to stay bullish maybe we get a bounce off this area uh wpr is not extremely oversold 
any longer. So we could be, you know, we could make a case. This is starting to strengthen up. Market sentiment is low. I we like this. I like this in conjunction with the indicators that we have. And time and time again, when we look at this, we we like it when sentiment's low because we think rally. We think rally afterwards. So it's a good chart. It's a good chart. I like it. I like uh, you know the way corn's looking right now. I have to follow it in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for stopping in. Discord is listed in the um that you know description for the YouTube channel here. Uh, Discord is our chat community. Come in, stop by. We've got a, a couple of trade talk channels that are open to the public that we, we can discuss the charts with, but uh, most of my charts I usually just post in the Discord uh, for your viewing pleasure and your discussion. So download the app um, and come and stop in with the, uh, with the community. I hope you find yourself on the profitable side of the trade. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video.